Hello everybody and today I'm going to be doing a mod showcase called the useless reptiles mod and you can already see that we have two reptiles right behind me um, they're called warvens or dragons but I mean I'd rather call them a dragon or a warven but I don't know but yeah this is the mod I'm going to be reviewing today for starters let's classify what these things are so these are called wyverns, werverns, waverns I'm just going to call them verns um, these guys spawn in swamps. I just, you know, spawn them here because, well, I just want to showcase that there are two color variants. One is green and one is brown. But, I mean, they look pretty cool, you know, as little dragons. And I like their modeling. And look at their web feet. It looks like they're capable of swimming in water, probably. But I'm just making assumptions. In order to tame them, all you just need is raw chicken. And if you decide to kill them, but I don't know why would someone want to risk their self just to kill them, they drop two pieces of lever, two bones, and probably rotten flesh. But these are all coming at random. When you have fully tamed them, you can actually use these. You can just use some stick and some horns. So in order for them to make them stand up and sit, so in order to make them stand up, you gotta use a stick. So it stands up, sits down, stands up, sits down. That's all you just need. And for the gold horn, you can actually associate with their callings. So say, for example, I'm using the gold horn and it's called um, Ponder. I just associate it with the um, tamed warven or dragon that I put on. And it says the warven will now respond to the following sound, Ponder. So all I got, so for, for example purposes, all I just got to do is just click on the horn. Okay, so it's just sitting down. So, okay. So I'm just going to wait for the cooldown just to wear off. Um, come on, please stand up. Okay, yeah, you got to shift just to make him stand up, I guess. So let's play the go horn again. Um, okay, I got to take him off the lead. So let me try this one more time. And when you click it, it comes right to you. But it's kind of weird how he just slid across. You know, he just defying. And yes. Hey, 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 yo. Hey, yo, where are you going? Hey, yo, yo, come back here. What are you doing? Wow, brah, what are you doing? Look at this. Oh, yeah. He went over the barrier blocks. What a noob. Wait, what? Did this dude just violated block physics? Okay. That is sus. But, yeah, that's how you use the horns, and you can actually associate with any different calling. So, say, for example, if I use Sing, he's not going to respond, and you can already tell that he's not coming towards me. Also, I'm going to show you guys what will happen if you actually encounter one. But in um, peaceful mode, and if you attack it, it will not fight back. However, if you try attacking it, say, for example, in easy mode, it will f fight back. See, it will fight back. Yeah, you do not want to fight this guy, not even on hard mode. He does sprout out some poisonous effects. So keep in mind, even the tame ones sometimes do attack the other ones. But I don't know why would you want to do that, because that's kind of like animal abuse abusing another animal but i did see it happen one time but it might not happen this time and i already have equipped it a saddle so all you just need is just to right click with the saddle and just you know put it on this warvern or dragon and just right click and you're actually riding on the warvern you can actually steer it in many type of directions i just know if you walk forward it just you know walks forward and yeah it's kind of glitchy it's still like a work in progress but it looks pretty cool but in order for it to jump you gotta double you had to jump pretty quick so this is like the jump button that's how you make it jump and if you want it to fly you have they say you have to hold space and that's how you're actually able to fly and they say you have to wait for the dragon to you know um gain some um acceleration by flying over time and they say you can actually fly very high and you can just perform dives and all them you know curves and turns and stuff so i just know that we can fly even higher Yes, we can actually fly higher into the sky, and it doesn't run low on fuel either. So look how high we're going. Yeah, we can actually fight the um, Ender Dragon probably easily, but I'm not sure since this woman can actually get one shot about the Ender Dragon. Also, there are some key binds just to use this dragon. So if you want to fly down, um, by default, it's set to no bound, but you can actually set it. Say, for example, you could just set it to some type of button like shift. You could probably set it to shift just to make it fly downwards or if you want to change the melee attack and range it's all up to you but that's all by default for melee you gotta use the v button and for range you have to use the g button and i'm going to show you guys in a moment so if you want to make a dive down this would actually look like when i push shift he goes at max speeds like you see this guys he goes at max speeds and you see how his wings just expand that way at this point he's at glide mode 
So yeah, it's pretty useful. And look, I can actually steer them around to make some good, pretty cool turns and whatnot. Like I look pretty cool. And I'm gonna show you like the attacks. So I'm gonna, um, you know, adjust the time. So I just need, you know, set, uh, you know, set time to like day, for example, just to show you guys. Okay, it's still, you know, in flight mode. Okay, um, come on, dragon. I want you to uh, land. Okay. So I want to, you know, test this out. So in order to attack with range, you gotta push the V button. See this? You can actually attack anything with the V button. So let me just, come on, I'm not flying. I am just only attacking. Also, I can actually stay in the air for a second and I can push the G button and it just releases this poisonous effect. Yeah, poison three, they say. It's very powerful too. You know, if you really wanna, you know, mass murder mobs on this dragon or warven. You can actually see like the effects and whatnot that's being, you know, put on these animals. Say for example, we got a pig. Um, I really wanna get off of this ride. Yeah, you gotta recongest all your settings. Yeah, it's pretty much like a setting chore at this point. Okay, so I have gotten off the dragon. So say for example, um, yeah, the pig is down. Say for example, I wanna attack this horse. The horse has 27 health. And if I use range attack on it, so let me press V, okay. And how many damage does the horse take? It takes 21, so it does six attack damage on any mob that you encounter. And let me just go ahead and just test it on another horse. Yes, I am sorry. So let me just go back and just push G. And let me see what the poison effect do. So the poison effect only does 16. So let me see, that's like uh, eight hit points. Nah, that can't be eight. I'm not sure, but I just know it's more than um, six. And I am thinking if you attack a mob, will it attack something too? Well, okay, it doesn't care. Okay, it has no care for anything, but I mean, it is pretty useful for like transportation and to fight with too. And one thing I'm gonna tell you guys, it is also immune to poison effect. So let me just go ahead and just take this right up to the skies so I can actually get a good view from up here. Wow, look at this view guys, this is some pretty view. Yep, this is so definitely pretty. I can actually see my whole world and just set my render distance to 16 just to see the whole nice greenery and the whole chunk load. But anyways, guys, that should conclude for the whole useless reptile mod. And I will include this mod download in the description so you guys can try it out for yourselves. This is pretty good for transportation and just to show off that you can actually still ride a dragon in Minecraft. Well, I really can't call it a dragon. It's actually a Vern or a War Vern. But anyways, I have to go and see you guys next time on the next Minecraft adventure.